everybody, this is Perch, and um, DC Pride number one came out this week, and it's uh, it, 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 it this issue is it's interesting because I'm seeing people put up little reviews and they're they're dunking on it and everything else, but I feel like this is a case where you really you, you knew what you knew what you're getting into if you bought this comic, uh, which is expensive. Like this isn't a comic you would casually buy it's a you you're you would you would feel this purchase uh because it is a more expensive book here i mean granted it's also what like odd you know 80 odd pages so i mean you're 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 getting a big book but you're you're paying you know you you are paying for quite a bit um it's if you if you decided to make this purchase there's there's no high like you, you couldn't bring it home and open this up like what the hell is this like there there's no uh you wouldn't you you knew what you were buying, and so I feel like a lot of the reviews, at least that I've seen, are a bit disingenuous, and that they're like, "Ah, oh, look at this crap." It's like, well, okay, if you didn't want to see a book uh, for Pride that was going to feature the LGBTQIA plus characters, um, you know, you, you're kind of a moron because the comic clearly is stating what it's going to be. The cover says celebrating a parade of LGBTQIA characters. I think you could be upset. At the cost, certainly, because it is expensive. I think you could also be upset by these stories, and but this is my problem with uh, honestly a lot of the anthologies that they're putting out. Is you get these four to eight page comics that really do not matter. And what I say by don't don't matter, they're just there's you know they're they're short little vignettes of the characters. Um, if you miss them, you wouldn't be missing big character development. There's no there's no shocks. There's no surprises. There's just little skits of uh, kind of these characters in action uh, doing things. And so, I mean, you know, the, the, the comic is, is uh, it, it, it's fine if you're into just getting little, you know, six to eight page skits. Like, uh, you know, here's a little story of, uh, you know, Midnighter um, here and uh, he's, you know, heading to go hunt some vampires with uh, Gregorio. Um, and he talks to John Constantine about it. They fight the vampires and they punch them. And then, uh, you know, and then he punches them some more. And that's the end of the story. It's like, oh, I mean, okay. So that's that's really kind of, I mean, in terms of a celebration, I mean, if I, I, I would want to, if I was if I was looking for a celebration, I would want that celebration to be like a, an ongoing title where the character gets uh, promoted and featured. Um, not a four page story like this, the question story, uh, which is by Sky, uh, Skylar Partridge and uh, Vita Ayala is four pages. And you, it's the question does some stuff. I mean, it's just I, I don't know. There, there's not much to it is is the point. Um, but again, I, I think you kind of knew that going into this at this point. Uh, it would hurt if you paid uh, this this cover price for this comic and then you got this. I mean, the the. Uh, the, the sad thing, I'm, I like Obsidian quite a bit as a character, and and so there is a brief story here by Sam Johns and, and Klaus Jensen, but it's like there's there it's it's kind of them talking and kind of reestablishing that these characters exist, and um you know uh, Alan Scott says you're the reason I came out, and it kind of but it doesn't really it it doesn't really reconcile any of this past, you know Obsidian vanished for for a, a long, but so anyway. It is what it, it, it it's fine. No, the reason for this video is that we do get um, well, let me let me pause here for a second. Uh, DC recently did this uh, round robin, this tournament of books and probably the most talked about book. It was definitely the most voted on uh, book in all this was JLQ and it was Justice League Queer. And uh, it, it lost in the first round because it went up against Robin's. Um, and this, you know, this made people very mad. They, they were saying you intentionally tanked the book because it was, uh, you know, it was, uh, you, you put it up against a Batman book and Batman beats everything. Um, and, uh, but we get a little preview of what this, uh, JLQ book would have been. So Andrew Wheeler, who did write the JLQ pitch, uh, is joined by Luciano uh, Vichetto, who I believe was going to do the new New Warriors over at Marvel. And uh, there's there we get a we get a brief story of what JLQ is going to be. So again, this is a uh, like an eight page story. I think it's just is that right? It's it's yeah no it's seven pages seven or eight. 
Uh, it's 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 eight pages, eight page story. And this um, this comic um, basically features uh, Jackson and Syl. Uh, Syl is, I think, a newer character. I don't recall seeing this character uh, before. Um, I, I, I'm probably why I'm, I'm forgetting something, but this is to be somewhat forgiven because this comic is, uh, is in a pride, uh, parade is where this comic is taking place and they've dressed everybody up all crazy. Cause, uh, you know, that's, that's what pride parades are. Uh, you know, it's funny cause these are the, th- this looks like what you would see, um, if you watch the news and there's certainly people come in costume and everything else, but a lot of people just come as themselves. They just, they, they're there in just kind of regular outfits and it's, it's a, uh, it's a celebration of identity more than just a costume parade. But these, when they do these in the comics, they always do over the top costumes. They got a guy in kind of bondage shorts uh, and a giant beard and everything else. So anyway, the, Jackson is at the pride parade. He's um, uncomfortable, I guess, being there because uh, he's new to this, uh, new to being out, to being a hero they're, they're like, he's a fish out of water is his, is his deal. And so Syl is, is kind of helping him kind of, uh, you know, I'm going to hold your hand through this and, and this is great. Um, I, I think we, we saw, we had this, this discussion already, but that's fine. He's still a little bit uncomfortable. It starts to rain and, uh, the rain turns out to be Eclipso and the rain is making everybody really, uh, sad and angry. Um, the anxiety and the rage has come to the surface. And this is a real horrible thing to do during pride because the, uh, people are supposed to be proud of them, but now they're saying things like, if they love me, I wouldn't be this way. And it's the same every day. I don't know what to do. Um, so Eclipso comes down and he's like, uh, you know, basically this day, uh, belongs to Eclipso. It's a little unclear if, if Eclipso is aware that he's spoiling pride or if he's just showing up to crap on people because that's what Eclipso does. I might remind you at one point DC had a whole event around Eclipso. They had annuals and they had this annoying comic with a little plastic gym on the front of it that ruined all the other comics that it was stacked on. But uh, anyway, so so it, it, there is an interesting bit here where Eclipso says, I'm going to feed on your pain and rejection and fear. So it is a, it is an interesting foil for pride in the sense that uh, going to kind of turn the tables on pride. And, and at least I, I, I give it this. It's at least a villain trying to do villainous things. And the villain is is bad. God loves you. I do not, he says. Is it so that you know, I like I like the villains trying to be bad because they're 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 villains. That's what they're supposed to do. Uh, so uh Syl runs off using a magic Doctor Strange portal. Uh, but Jackson is going to take on Eclipso. Now in normal DC universe continuity, Eclipso would m- just murder the crap out of him because Eclipso is super powerful. So uh, Aqualad is not going to stand a chance. And and sure enough, I mean, Eclipso appears. And then unfortunately, Eclipso, uh, being one of the more major villains in uh, DC continuity, is pretty much dispatched within three, three four pages. Uh, but Jackson can't do it alone. Um, Sill has gone and summoned... Uh, basically he says, uh, he, he summons his, his mentor, um, uh, Gregorio is, uh, has, has brought, he's the, he's the Dr. Strange, uh, of, <laughs> for those of you who do not know this character, no, he's not, but, uh, they've definitely gone all in. You kind of wonder if parts of this was a pitch for Marvel at one point because they're using the, uh, in Avengers in-game portals and everything else. But anyways, he says, uh, you crash the wrong party. My JLQ kick line is going to send you back to oblivion. And uh, we see kind of this assembly of the uh, queer characters in the DC universe. Um, and again, this, this, I've had the same comment for other stories and other places, but uh, uh, it does. I always wonder, like, if you've got a major threat like Eclipso is going to just murder um, you know, people and feed off their pain. I mean, he, he does establish himself as a super killer threat. Um, rather it's like, did, did Giorgio, uh, or sorry, Gregorio, did he go and, and it's like, I need to get some heroes and like all the straight heroes are like, no, 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 it's, it's, I'm not going to pride. Ray, Bunker, Crush, Midnighter, Apollo, Batwoman, Tasmanian Devil, Natasha Irons, uh, Yesnin, Tracy 13, Ari, and Wink. Um, and that's cool, but it's Eclipso. You kind of want to go for Superman, Wonder Woman, and, and Batman, uh, typically, 
I, I would think that's that's what you would that's what you would be after. But um, you yeah, know, I mean, it's it's fine. It's 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 fine. Why not? Um, Extrano is uh, it basically um, uh, he's he's got he's he's had a makeover. They've definitely Doctor Strange the hell out of him uh, here. Uh, but that's, that's fine. Uh, anyway, so the, the, uh, the, this, this assembly of JLQ easily just beats the living shit out of Eclipso. And, uh, they, they basically push him into a portal to, uh, I, I'm not sure. They just, they push him out of portal and, and then they say, Hey, we should probably contact the Titans in the JLA, make sure Eclipso is gone. And he can't come back. And it's like, don't worry. Uh, Gregoro, uh, is, is, uh, Extrano is on it. You can just enjoy the day you saved, sure. And then uh, they they join the parade, and and that's it. That they're th- that's the story. So this is a preview of what we are going to get for JLQ. All the conversations around what's JLQ going to be and all the rest. I mean, this this was going to be it. This this is this is it. Um, I it's fine. Again, I I think this is one of those cases where if you were into this comic. Then you bought it and you're probably happy with because you knew what you're getting. And if you suspected you were going to hate it, then you you paid way too much money and you hate it. And there you go. But this is a this is the first one. Now, will there be more JLQ adventures? I mean, sure. I, I'm sure it will. I'm sure there will be more JLQ adventures. I still think any comic that like it, it just, any comic where it's like, hey, we got to fight a villain. Let's go get just this particular gender, race, ethnicity, whatever it happens to be like that. That's a, that's a weird, that's a weird thing to go with, but yeah, you know, it's, it's your, it's your time. Anyway, did you pick up pride DC pride? what you think of it? Love it. Hate it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, again, and if you hated it, why did you pick it up? I, I, I you really, please do answer that question. Like if you pick this up and you're like, oh man, I'm going to really, I'm going to hate this. Like what, what are you doing? Like, why are you spending your money on this? You, if you know you're going to hate it, what, what, why are you doing that to yourself? That seems very confusing to me. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And thanks for listening.